Hello and welcome to me and my golf TV. I'm Andy Pradman and I'm Piers Ward and today we're looking at Tiger Woods swing changes at the Chris Como. Let's take charge of your game. Okay, so today we're talking all about Tiger. Tiger Woods is back, and if you saw him at Arworth a few weeks ago in the Heroes World Challenge, you will see that he's made some changes. Uh, sure short has. game was a little bit rusty, uh, let him down over the, over the four days, but um, there's some good signs in his golf swing and his technique, and although he didn't finish where he would like to finish, yeah. he showed some good signs. So, I think he was pretty happy, wasn't he? I think so, I think so. So today we're going to talk about the changes that he's made with his new swing coach, uh, Chris Como. Um, Tiger has now made some quite big changes, Pierce, over the mm -hmm. years, but he's been successful with all the changes. Hasn't won any majors with Foley, but no. hopefully with this sort of new swing change, he's looking to do that, but also stay safe and keep injury-free yeah. for as long as possible. I think that's the key thing really going forward it's for interest Tiger. Interesting, yeah, absolutely. He's got to stay injury-free injury for the next couple of years, but it's interesting you say new swing changes. Maybe a little bit old swing changes for him because he's actually maybe going a little bit more back to what he's done. I know he's spent some time with Nota Begay, the third good friend of his, talking about how he used to play yeah. and how he used to swing it and thinking, well, OK, let's go back to that a little bit. And yeah. absolutely, looks like he's, uh, it looks more like his old golf swing. It does. It looks a lot more fluid, a lot more free. Yeah, you um, like it, don't you? Like, I, like I, mean, it. I like it as well, but I like you, it. Andy really likes the yeah, changes. Yeah, I think there's some good signs there. So we're going to talk about the changes made with Chris Como um, and sort of how that influences uh, influences Tiger's golf yeah, yeah. swing and the ball, but also how it's helped him get some speed back to his driver. And we're using the driver today because the, the, the difference really is more noticeable when he has got this big club Definitely. in his hand and he was bombing the drives the day we saw. So um, let's talk about the changes in the setup that he's made first, Pierce. OK, big change then. All right, let's go with the old one first of all. So this is the Sean Foley setup. So first thing is noticeable is very steep in the angle of his spine at setup. So his posture was very bent forward. OK, so this is obviously transmitted into the golf swing. So he always be, be very steep throughout his backswing. But from here, as he as he took the club away, the hands would stay very close to the body. So the handle of the club stays low. And you can see from there that the club is very much connected to the body. Yeah, very much connected to the body. OK, so from there, we sort of move to the top now and, you know, steeper there as definitely well. Definitely a steeper very, angle, yeah, yeah. Really quite steep, the shaft angle was there. And obviously that carried on to the top, very much bent forward. Very and much we can see this, position. yeah, the shoulder plane now is very steep. It's more of a one-plane golf swing, this, you know, more centred golf swing, much more over the golf ball. And we see the steep angle of the shoulders there. And all in an effort really to sort of hit a little bit more down on the golf ball. What Tiger didn't really want to do is get the club trapped behind him and end up hooking the golf ball. So that was all an effort to do that, really. Didn't want um, to hit it left. So Tiger is now more upright, yeah? So he's taking his posture, similar to what he used to do, a lot more upright with the spine. Um, this gets his shoulders swinging on a flatter swing plane, Pierce. Um, yeah. And with the driver, that's, you know, it's going to shallow out the golf swing, which is pretty good. Definitely. A lot more leg flex as well at setup. A lot more leg flex. Almost a bit onto the toes of this old one. Definitely more in the middle of the feet now. And as you said there, you know, you get the feeling that he's got, definitely got a wider backswing from here as well. And the shoulders now are turned on a slightly flatter plane. OK, so there's the, the, again, you'll see that quite, um, that's quite easy to see when, when, you're, when you're looking at Tiger's new changes. So uh, let's go now, Pierce, front on view front and on. let's show you how different it is. And it's, again, this is where it goes back to um, his old, older years, really. Absolutely, yeah, definitely. So here's the Foley version. Again, well bent forward, very close with the arms in the backswing. You know, I think this is quite noticeable here with the Foley era, the amount of wrist cock that he had at this stage here. So shaft, uh, sorry, left arm parallel to the ground, the amount of wrist cock he had from there. And obviously from there, you carry on up into this top of the backswing position. OK. So the new one? Yep. The new one. The new one. OK. So Andy mentioned before how he was we talking about how he was quite centred before. So with the, with the Foley one, he was quite centred over the golf ball. Now he's actually transferring weight a little bit into his yep. backswing a little bit more. So from here, obviously more upright posture. Got to get that right first. You know, very much wider in the way back. Definitely now we were always wider, careful yeah. how we talk about this. A lot of people misinterpret wide as something like that. Yeah. You know, he's not moving over here so much. He's just making sure that really on the way back that he's not really setting his wrists as early. No, so it's wider here. By the time he gets to here, you'll notice there's a lot less wrist set than normal. Yep. And like you say there, Pierce, he's loading into this right hip area a lot better. So he's not shifting his weight to the right. He's not moving off the golf ball. He's just sort of allowing his weight to load into this right side and get behind the golf ball a bit more with the driver, yeah. which will help him. It will change his launch condition, certainly, which Absolutely. we see that, don't Absolutely. we? Yeah. So okay, so there's the, the backswing. Yeah. Now we're going to go down to impact, and this is where 
you'll really see a difference. Now, Pierce, to show, show the difference between his impact now with the, the old one first, let's go through his impact with his old one. Potentially, I think in a few more weeks with, with more practice, it's going to be a massive difference. Massive I think so, difference. Yeah. So, yeah, centered, old swing over the golf ball, but then from there, he would really feel that he wanted to hit down on the ball. His angle of attack wanted to be downward when he was hitting the driver. And it looked a little bit like that sometimes. It did. Now, that we looks very extreme. We saw some really extreme ones, didn't we? One at uh, Torrey Pines. And, he, and, he, and it was really well lent forward, the shaft. Definitely. So this is great for an iron, by the way. You know, we, this is, we're always talking about getting the shaft leaning forward with an iron. This is going to get that compression. Um, but with the driver, maybe not so good because it's creating that steeper angle. But also, this is where Tiger, we'll talk about it in a minute, is, is actually losing it a, bit, a bit of speed because he's sort of holding that angle a little bit too long and not being able to actually... Tiger's talking quite a lot recently about his release pattern. Release pattern and and when we pattern. talk about this in a moment, we'll show the difference between his old and his new. Um, but this certainly is creating that steeper angle, almost holding it too long. It's a very lower launch angle. Yeah. Um, and quite hard to hit the golf ball. Very late release. But again, his late release, he was getting this late release and feeling that the club would then from there swing left. This was all to stop him hooking the ball to the yeah. left. He didn't want the ball to hook to the left. He wanted his path to be to the left and he wanted to hit you know, steeper on it to stop it hooking, basically. Definitely. And it did sort of look a little bit contrived, a little bit sort of forced, where yeah. now when we sort of show the new one, Pierce, it yeah. looks a lot more free, it looks a lot more natural. This release pattern that he keeps talking about looks a little bit easier, so we'll get to a more posi position where the shaft is a little bit more sort of vertical at this point, and a little bit more free-flowing. So from this point now, he's going to create a slightly high launch angle. Um, he's going to be more of a sweeping action with the driver and it certainly looks that way and he was hitting his driver really well at Isleworth. It will be, will be interesting because I know he's been, gone on record before in the last couple of years of saying he does not want to hit up on the driver. Yeah. He only ever wants to hit down on the driver. So it'll be interesting to see what his thoughts are now. If we could ask him that question, Tiger, if you're watching, do you want to post your comments down below? That isn't going to work, <laughs> is it? <laughs> do you want to hit down the ball still with the driver or are you allowing it to go a little bit more on the up? And he mentioned, as you said, Andy, that he's got a little bit more speed back in his game. He's got two or three mile per hour more club head speed in his game because he's hitting it maybe slightly more upward. He is releasing the club a little bit more in sync with his body yeah. and getting that extra energy into the club yeah. head and into the golf ball. We talk about it so often. We're talking about storing this energy here. We want to, at some point, let that energy release. Now, if you're holding that, holding that energy, you're going to lose speed. And as yeah. we see with Tiger, not many people can do that, by the way, uh, but Tiger's pretty special. So yeah. holding that angle too long, was sort of limiting his speed there, we believe. Um, okay, so there's the impact. Let's go to through swing pierce yep. down the line. So down his finish position is so much different now. It looks a lot more free through the golf ball and he ends up in a different place. Yeah, very different, isn't it? So old swing, again, there's the old posture. Steep back swing, holding the angle on the way down, late release, and then from there, the club would go to the left and really, it looked a bit too contrived maybe sometimes. It looks as though he's really forcing the handle left and then into a lower finish, a lower, more connected finish. Definitely. The new one, get the posture right from there as he would go through. The, the hands and the arms tend to go up a little bit freer and you can see that's a notable thing for me that the hands are higher and the arms look a little bit more separated from his yeah. body. So a little bit sort of more up in the air like that maybe as opposed to yeah. lower around. And one of the things that Tiger was doing in his uh, you know, I remember, remember seeing with the cover and uh, sorry, actually a glove under his glove, lead yeah. arm, working on maintain that that in there. Where, where you demonstrated there, Pierce, these arms are a little bit more up in the air. This is free, and for me, I think it just looks a little bit more of a natural golf swing yeah. now. It looks like he can actually swing the golf club freely, a lot more fluid. And as you said there, it doesn't look as contrived. Doesn't look like he's trying to force. Excuse me. <clears throat> doesn't look like like he's trying to force the golf swing into a position that really is quite difficult yeah, to get yeah. to. So these, I like, I like these the are the words. These are the words that he's using all the time himself, aren't they? Free flowing, you know. You know, talking about his release pattern. So he's obviously he's trying to get a flow back to his golf swing, maybe more than he yeah. had before. And not doubting the word. Look, with Foley, he did a lot of good things. He did a lot of good things. But you know, maybe these new changes. Hopefully for him, it'll it'll put him back in the reckoning on the majors because that's where that's what golf's about. That's what viewing golf is all about. And that's what he's bothered about. I can, I can assure you that he, he wants those five about, majors absolutely. in his bag. Okay, guys, I uh, hope that gives you a good insight there what Tiger has changed. I think, you know, I'm excited to see what he can do. I love the changes there. Um, if you can get a short game up to speed as well, I'm sure he's going to be doing um, some release pattern work on his short <laughs> game as well, as opposed yeah. to 
sort of getting those dust that he did get. But um, what are your thoughts? Post your comments down below. Do you like his new golf swing? Do you like his old golf swing? Do you think he's going to win those five majors if he can stay fit? We'd love to hear what you've got to say. Um, Tiger Woods. Will he do it, Pierce? Of course he will. I think he will. He, do. I, I, I hope he does. I hope he does, just because he's our era. And as much as I, I really like Jack Nicholas, it'd be nice for one someone from our era to do that. He would. He would. Okay, guys. I uh, hope that I uh, hope you enjoyed that video. Uh, please subscribe if you don't already to the channel. Post your comments. Uh, hit the like button if you did like that video. And please post your comments down below. We would love to hear your thoughts on that. Uh, cheers, guys. We'll see you next time on Me and My Golf TV. Thanks for watching.